coming up in court today on Eye for an Eye. Another okay. evidence you got. She has asked him to buy cigarettes and liquor. Friends, she's and the one that's wrong. Up. Not even her tears Doing touch it because me she anymore. Cares. In the court system, justice is not always just. That's why they bring their disputes here. Real people, real problems, real revenge. Justice is eye for an eye. Oh my God, thanks for coming to court with me today. I'm Kato Kalen, and today on Eye for an Eye, we have a troubled teen who's turning her mother into a desperate housewife. The plaintiff thinks her daughter's dangerously out of control. She hopes to leave today's courtroom with a girl gone mild. The defendant replies, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I hate you. Hmm. I wonder if she's a teenager. She is out of control. I have tried everything. She's now hanging around with people with guns and drugs, and only I for an eye can help me. She thinks that I'm a mess when she's the one that's the alcoholic bringing in a bunch of guys. So we'll let the judge decide who's right. This is the case where mama knows best. Today, one person is going to miss their curfew, but only Extreme Akeem can decide. Let's what? All right! Linda Friedman, is that correct? Okay, and yes, you uh, brought your daughter here in court, Leah Friedman? Mm hmm How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. Tell me why you've brought your daughter here in court. Your Honor, um, in the past ten months, my daughter has been really, really behaving to a point where I can no longer control her. She has started doing bad in school. She just seems to be hanging around with the wrong people. I have caught her smoking. Um, she no longer obeys any of my rules at home. She, and it's just, uh, excuse me. Go ahead, go ahead. And this is really, really, really out of control. And I really fear for her life at this point. Your Honor. Stand up straight, please. What, what all evidence did you bring in court today to, to justify what you said? Your saying? Honor, I have several evidences. I do have, I have um, a written statement from one of my, my neighbors claiming that she has asked them to buy cigarettes and liquor for her. I also have um, a telephone conversation from someone I don't even know who it is. Okay, well, let me hear it. You freaking whore, I called you three damn times. Oh. If you don't come over here right now, I'm going to break your freaking neck. Now, Your Honor, now, who was that? can you hear that? That's a guy. No, she doesn't need to know who it is. I and know who it is. Supposedly, supposedly she has a boyfriend. Not anymore. Supposedly That's old. She has, supposedly, she already has a boyfriend whom I didn't agree with either. Yeah, because, but because you have authority to say. It's my boyfriend. I don't but like your boyfriend. let somebody speak to you What that other way? evidence you got? I also have all her uh, truancy reports from school. And how many times has she not gone to school? Oh, I mean, gosh. There's probably about 39 days. 39 Just days? This year alone. Where have you been? I've been doing other things. I. What I mean so, you've been doing other things? I've been doing other things. How old are you? You're 15 years old? Yes. Thank what you. What could you have to do at 15? I have other things to do. You have other things to do. She has other things to do. I have stuff to do. What else? Your you Honor, I have to, I'm a school teacher now. For the last five years, I have maintained my job, and I have to be leaving my school. The only way I can find out if she's in school or not is if I go there physically and go look for her in her classrooms. Because even the counselors tell me, ma'am, we just can't keep tabs on her like that. Yeah, you don't need to keep tabs on me either. I'm not asking yes, you to I leave do. your job. It's your mother. Yourself. Of course she needs to keep tabs on you what? legally and everything I'm else. still here. I'm still here. What? I mean, what's the problem? You don't know what tomorrow brings. Your Honor. Wait, give me, what else? The you last thing that has happened is that she was arrested and she was questioned for someone being in the possession of weapons. And it was that boy right there. Oh my Which that one? That was with her. Stand up. You should be ashamed wearing that cross. John. Hey, take off that hat in this courtroom, too. Don't you have any respect for this courtroom? Take it off. Come on in this cage. What do you say about this thing? I don't know. You don't know anything? Yeah. No. Your what Honor, do you know? it wasn't. She's making it out to be a big First of all, it. they lied to me. It was the 4th of July weekend. Right. And she was supposed to go to the park to see the fireworks. This is 30 miles away from our home. Yeah, because she won't let me do anything. I wouldn't lie. She would let me do what I need to do. Are you sleeping with this girl? No. Are y'all romantically involved? I think that's I don't think that's anybody's business. That's nobody's business. Well, if you're only 15 years old, yes, it is. It's the law's business. She was sleeping around when she was 15. Your Honor, that is not true. 
Your Honor, I found condoms in her room. Yeah, and found condoms in her room. And this young man is about to turn 18 years old. You're and 18. he better not be caught you know, near my daughter. If you're having sex with a 15 year old, you can go to jail for that. Do you know that? Yes. You do know that? Okay. And you got any charges pending against you? Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. And what are those charges? A gun charge. You got a gun charge pinned yes. against you? Yes. You got diamonds in your teeth? How'd yes. you afford that? Work. Tell me about the gun charge. Well, we went to a party, and then afterwards we go to a gas station, right? And then them, them two, they get off and go inside or whatever. And me and her, me and her in the backseat, you know, kissing or whatever. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna get some knowledge or whatever. Because there was this guy there that I had met at a party a long time ago, and he was trying to get with me. And I kept telling him no, and he kept trying to mess with me and everything, and I told him. And so he was just trying to let this guy know to back off. They get out because I tell him, hey, that dude, you know, he's messing with her. So they go talk to him. He has more people come out of a car. They start fighting, whatever. And then she's like, well, no, then I get out. I got a gun. She's like, no, no, no. And I said, not help that. I'm going to get him off him. I start shooting in the air. Coming up next. Just when I get a call thinking, okay, she's on her way home, it's a police officer. Ma'am, we have your daughter here. He wasn't going to do Did you know she was out? When I have not had a drink in six years. I'm not the one that screwed up. I believe her. You're watching Eye for an Eye. Is that she was arrested. It's your mother. Soul. Of course she needs to keep tabs on you. Well, she doesn't need to know who it is. I, I know who it is. Leave. You sleep with this girl? No. I get out. I got a gun. She's like, no, no, no. And I said, no, help that. I'm going to get him off him. I start shooting in the air. And then from there, we take off. He wasn't going to do Did you know anything. she was out? Did you know? I knew she was out. She was supposed to be in the park going to see the fireworks with a few of her friends. There was fireworks. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're such a comedian. Yeah, and then All I right. get a call. Just when I get a call thinking, okay, she's on her way home, it's a police officer. Ma'am, we have your daughter here. This is your character witness? Well, who did you tell to stay home then? If these, this, if these two oh, are character please. witnesses? You haven't seen her boyfriends. I don't judge her boyfriend. She shouldn't judge mine. She doesn't know how they are. They comfort me when she's too drunk to talk to me. They're my friends. We're all together. Yeah. That Wait. is not true. I do not drink. I have been going to AA for six years, and I have sponsors that could prove that to you. Maybe That's you drove her to drinking with a daughter like you. Are you I kidding me? wouldn't drink. No, no. She would love it if I was, if, well, I, if everything was my frack fault. frack in the front. Come here, frick. What's up? What, what you here for? Why did you come here? He's helping me out. He's my friend too. What, could you, what are you gonna hear to say? I'm here to be the responsible adult. Exactly. You're, you're the character yeah. witness. Is That's that what right. you're? And what are you gonna tell me about her? She's done nothing wrong. <laughs> no, he <laughs> helps me out. No, they're all the ones that come and pick me up at school when I can't be there. They're the ones that come over and help me out when she's passed out on the porch. You're you right. gotta take her on the porch. That's absolutely not out. true, and you know it. She was, I was on the porch because I didn't have my keys to get in the house, and I sat on the porch and I dozed off to sleep until she. Yeah, because you were trash. Who falls asleep on the porch? No and I was not drunk. Who leaves the house with no keys? Yeah, yeah. you think I let you touch me to carry me in my you're house? Too I you're too trash so. to say anything. <laughs> what else you got? What other evidence you got? I believe this is a pipe and rolling cigarettes. Let me see that. I found that under no, her it's bed. Illegal to have I drug found an obscene picture of my daughter. And I don't even know who took it. I need that back too. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, look at this. A 15-year-old posing for something like this. That's it. That's the picture. That's the money shot. Can I say something, Your Honor? Yeah, tell me. Okay. This job that she has, do you really think that the money is going towards the two of us? It's going towards okay. Foots? It's going towards Jack Daniels? It's going towards Jose, Jose Cuervo? It's going towards Bacardi? It's not Listen, going towards me? That must be These in your the mind, people. Leah, because anybody can check my cabinets. Anybody can go home, and I have not had a drink in six years. That's... Yarn, I'm sorry, but that's ridiculous. You don't live with her. I do. And so what? I needed money. I'm 45 I knew years a guy. old. I needed money. Hey, I'm 45 years yes, old. Yes, so stop 13. acting like a teenager. So you're blaming her for your problems? Your Honor, <laughs> she couldn't keep my father. Why do you think my father left? Is that what this is all about? You're, you're mad at her? You think she um, caused your father to leave? Is that what this she is? She did. You need to have respect for your mother. You need to have respect for this courtroom. You're insulting this courtroom. You're insulting your mother. And you're insulting everybody out there, isn't she? Do you think I don't feel You think insulted? I'm wrong? You think your mother's wrong? And you think everybody out there is wrong? That you're so smart at the age 15? And everybody thinks I'm wrong. You think I don't feel insulted that oh, my your own mother is wrong. bringing me here because she thinks I'm the one that screwed up? Your friends She's don't think the one you're that wrong. Up. She brought your you here for help. Your friends don't think you're help. wrong. 
the woman is at her wits and end. I try to help her, and she doesn't ever. I'm not the one that screwed Don't up. Don't believe her. Is. Even her tears touch me anymore. She's doing it because she anymore. cares about you and loves you. Why else would she be here? Because she thinks that she's some kind of victim. Do you think that other 15-year-old girls aren't having fun? I'm not going to be this way forever. I know what I'm doing. Do you you're hanging cool? around with people that have guns and drugs. Because they were defending me. And who's... Like you don't get and high. And what church do they belong to? Oh, please, that's ridiculous. Listen, she brought you to the right courtroom because we're not like any other courtroom. This is eye for an eye, and I know what to do with you, and you're gonna get your act together, and your mother's at her wit's end, and I'll be back with my verdict. Thanks. Uh, oh, uh, oh, you guys have nothing to worry about. I think the judge loved you. No. Yeah, I just wanted to say to the young lady, I mean, I know at 15, you, you think you know a lot about the world, and you may, I don't know what you've been through, but I will tell you, you've got one mom. I lost my mom a year and a half ago, and it doesn't matter what you've done for your mom or how good you were to her, when she's gone, she's gone, and I'll tell you, you'll remember everything you didn't do and all the things you said and did wrong. So be good to her while you got her, okay? Thanks. Nice. I have a little bit of advice for you. I mean, you can take it or leave it. I just want to say that... Um, between 15 and 18, those are the years where you really decide who you are, mm -hmm. and you really need to focus on that. I mean, you can't always blame everybody else for your problems. I'm not saying that you're actually doing that, but you have to take the blame for what you do because you control where you go in life. And, Mom, I want to give you dibs for at least trying with your daughter. And someday you actually may be serving for 15 to 18, so you got to be careful. Uh -huh. you got to be really careful. Actually, actually you know what? Um, one person does make our decision here, and I've got a feeling I might know this one, but who knows? Uh, he is full of knowledge, and uh, that, of course, is Judge Extreme Akeem, and he's going to make a decision right now. Coming up next. You're on drugs, you're missing school. I think you need to get a picture of what your life could be if you choose the wrong path. You're watching Eye for an Eye. You got diamonds in your teeth? How'd you afford that? Where? This is your character witness? That's the picture! You yeah. haven't seen her boyfriends. I don't judge her boyfriend. She shouldn't judge mine. Your eyes are absolutely not true, and you know it. Hey, you know what? That's all us! Ma'am, I feel for you, and I'm thankful that you came to my courtroom to ask me, and I'm, I'm honored that you trust me to help you with this problem. Um, it's obvious here that you are at a critical point in your life. You could go either way. At your point in your life right now, you don't have any respect. You don't. You feel like you can do whatever you want, that you're hanging around these losers, you're out partying, you're doing drugs, you're missing school. I'm concerned about your future. I'm concerned about your life. Um, you're headed for a horrible future if you keep on the same path. And you're at the critical point right here. You could go this way or you could go this way. So I think you need to get a picture of what your life could be if you choose the wrong path. So I'm going to order that you are first going to ride with a police officer and learn all what it's like out there on the street. But after you get done doing that, you're going to spend a weekend in jail. So you'll know what it's like if you choose the wrong path, and that's justice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey, it's me, Kato. And if you remember this case, this girl was headed on a path of destruction. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different an eye for an eye. We're gonna allow her to ride with a police officer on his beat. Now, will something happen? I, I can't answer that. But we hope it's enough to scare her straight. I think that this ride that she's gonna take with this police officer was gonna be very beneficial to her because even though she thinks she knows a lot and she thinks she's been around a lot, I think she needs to be exposed to some really, really hard realities. This will definitely set her on a different track than she's been on because she has surely been on the wrong track. I really don't think that I'm going to end up as bad as everyone thinks I'm going to be and I don't think having me ride around with a cop like 
you know, pulling over a few guys speeding is going to change anything or help me or like make me figure things out. I think this is a waste of the court's time, the police department's time, and definitely a waste of my time. Let's uh, six oh eight back in the car. I'll be back in beat. So is that another release of anxiety by smoking? I mean, isn't that why people smoke to like wind down or really stress? I mean, I would like kind of smoke pot sometimes, and I don't do it as much as I drink, but I do it when I want to like. I do that more to like chill out and not to party. You know what I mean? But that is a form of partying, illegal partying. Sheriff's Department, you know you only have one headlight? Oh, it's, it, it'll come, it, it's loose, it'll come on. Is it, you have a driver's license? Yes, I do. You know, what? who knows what else is going to come down the road? Well, yeah, but I already know. Like, I've been exposed to other things, and I choose not to do them. I mean, like, it's easy. Like, it's just as easy to come across cocaine or ecstasy, and I choose not to do that. But I, like, I smoke pot because I don't see it as extremely harmful, except for the fact that it is illegal. 608, we're in the area. We'll be 10-6. They've got somebody with a gun. Get down, get down. Put the gun down. Drop, put the gun down. I said put it down now. Put it down. Put the gun down. Get the off. Come on, get down. Get, get off of me! Stay there! Stay here! Oh, oh God. Stay here! Get the off, man! Uh, I ain't got nothing. What is this? What? What? Huh? What is uh, this? Is that what you're on right now? Uh, get, Do me a favor, put her in the front seat. Uh, Stay in the front seat. Uh, Lift the seat up. Uh, Come on. 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 Uh, Ow. Ow! Get in. Just stay there. Okay, it looks like we got the guy who had the gun. And it looks like he had some marijuana. Now I gotta find the gun he threw. Get the f line out of my face! There it is. Looks like he was guarding a clock. Oh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights? This is what smoking pot does. Yeah. Can you, can you please get in the car because I really don't want to stay here without... Yeah, I really understand. So I guess it's cool now to go out and smoke weed, isn't it? <laughs> Turn around and take a look. No! You're going to think of it twice about doing this? Because look what it's got him. <laughs> well, how do, this is all you have. I'm not saying any of this, Henry, please. This is not, I get it. Tell me later when we're home, please, because I really need to go home. No, I'm not saying please. Turn around and take a look. No. I get it. Tell me later when we're home, please, because I really need to go home. Call for backup. Can you call for fucking backup? I have. We need to go. Let's go ahead and take him on in. 608, suspect in custody. We'll be 95 one time to the jail. You know, she got in trouble too. She's a minor, been out drinking. She smokes pot. That's what she says, just a little pot. My daughter and many kids, you know, nowadays, I used to see these programs on television, you know, cops and all these reality shows. She may think that she's somewhat used to it or she knows what it's about because, oh, I saw this on TV. 
but I think it's gonna wake her up a little bit. I think you guys are all so I don't really care. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm sorry, like, I'm just freaked out. <laughs>